Kelly Wimberly is the best kind of teacher, one who leads by example. So when she asked her Sunday school class of children to pray for people, she knew she had to do the same thing. And the results were amazing. Jesus is our King, our Savior, our Healer, and our, our Father. I'm learning how to dream dreams and see visions. I love Jesus because He brought me into the world. He's my Heavenly Daddy and His love will never change for me. God is awesome. I stumbled on the spiritual gift webcast uh, probably about a year and a half ago. Um, I was I was watching God TV and they did a segment on Isabel Alam Alam, and it really sparked an interest in me because she was talking about how you could operate in the prophetic even if you didn't weren't given a gift for operating in the prophetic or you didn't think that you had a gifting. And so I wanted to find other things that she had done. So I just Googled her name and it pulled up uh, the spiritual gift webcast because she was teaching on there. And then I noticed that that's what the whole webcast is all about. You know, it's just a whole webcast filled with teaching people how to um, how to activate and begin operating in the gifts. So when I then went and saw the fir very first one, it was on soaking, and I had never heard of soaking, never knew, I, I did not even know of the concept of soaking. I watched the second one, I think it was the second one that they ever did, and Gordon was teaching on moving in the prophetic gift. And it was, it was very simple. I actually made notes from it and shared those scriptures. I mean, I pretty much did the same lesson with our kids. So let's go from that, okay, and just ask God maybe to take you a One of the things I loved about the Spiritual Gift webcast is um, how when people felt very timid about something, Gordon would just sort of push them on the, put them on the spot and push them past their comfort zone. So if there was ever a time that uh, Marguerite or one of the guests would hesitate if Gordon was saying something and and they would he'd say, do you believe God can do that? And they were, yeah, sure, of course God can do that. Do you think he could do that through you? <laughs> you could see it. I was like, oh, he's got them. <laughs> he's about to make them step out and do it. Because then they'd be like, yeah, he can use me. And he's like, okay, well, get ready. Let's do it. <laughs> and I loved it because I've always been that timid person that's just scared to step out there. Doing it with the kids has actually helped me a lot. That's been my motivator or my push because I can't take them where I'm not going. And so if I'm telling them to pray for people during the week and bring back testimonies, if I don't have a testimony myself, then, you know, it kind of makes me look bad. I feel like I need to lead by example. We started out teaching about the baptism in the Holy Spirit because I just thought, well, if you want to move in the gifts, I mean, you need the baptism in the Holy Spirit. That's the first step. That's probably now 90%, you know, um, of the kids now are confidently, they confidently pray in their prayer language. Let's go higher. Let's shift this atmosphere. We went from teaching about the baptism in the Holy Spirit to teaching about healing. They began to pray for their parents at home as their parents were sick. They would say, well, can I pray for you? I said, can I pray for your head? She said, sure. And then I prayed for it one time and she said it was about seven. Well, before she said it was about seven, I she said, 
I said, uh, it's going to be a scale of 1 to 10. She said, oh, it's one bed or two bed? Well, I said, 10. And then I played for it one time, and then she said, it's about 7. Then I played again, and she said, it's 10. It's completely better. This picture of this foot just flashed at me. And I went to school, and I went to Miss Rogers, and I asked, can I go, can I pray for this girl outside the um, class. And she said yes, and so I prayed for the girl, and I asked her to go back up and walk back to me, and she walked back up, and then she walked back to me, and she said she was like so wild, her face was like really, like wow. And she just she said it's 100% better, and she was like feeling great. Next day she came back to school without a cast, without a wheelchair or anything. We really have some amazing kids in our, the, in our program. They're hearing from God themselves. They, a lot of them are experiencing things that maybe even their parents aren't experiencing yet. I'll just throw out the question, um, how, what is God doing in you? How do you feel like you're growing spiritually? Without fail, someone's going to say, because I've got my prayer language, because I can pray in tongues, I now know how to pray for someone. One thing that began happening um, after the kids were baptized in the Holy Spirit and we began um, talking about praying for people for healing is in the church service, they began to just, when an adult would go to the altar, they started just, I mean, no one ever said, told our kids, you, need, you can go pray for them. They just started doing it. They became so confident in it that they would just go <laughs> down there and start gathering around them and praying in the Spirit. I be believe that the gifts are very important to this new generation. Um, our kids are looking for the supernatural, and that intrigues them. When they begin to experience for themselves the power of God, and they have experienced God healing through them, when they get to college or out of the home and mama's not there to make them go to church and they have professors telling them that there is no God, you know, they'll, they'll say, what do you mean there's no God? I and mean, I've seen him heal. You know, he talks to me. He He's spoken to some others through me. I mean, they've, they've encountered him. They've had more than information about God. They've seen the power. Amazing, just yeah. Actually, amazing. I mean, they have little children pray. They have such yeah. faith. They believe yeah. God's going to do it. Well, and how wise on the part of Kelly, because, yeah. you know, she's right about that. Information will not hold up to the lure of the world, That's but right. a relationship. Oh, is wow. all the difference. You yeah. can benefit from the same teaching mm. and tools and resources as Kelly and her class did. Just log on to cbn.com backlash spiritual gifts. You'll find the top 10 teachings from Gordon Robertson and many more resources there. That's the spiritual gifts webpage at cbn.com. That's amazing. Fabulous. Mm -hmm. Fabulous.